fantasizing is a very well talked about subject and um I have a different perspective on it. See, I don't believe fantasizing is caused by you necessarily. I believe fantasizing is caused by the person you're fantasizing about as well. It's a two way street. Um, if you see my videos on ESP, uh, I've talked about how you can think about a person and they pop into your head and then they, they call, they call you or they text you and stuff like that. Well, I'll take it a step further with fantasizing. I've had many, many streaks, especially when you're in a long streak, where I constantly fantasize about a girl, like all sorts of things, like obviously going to be sexual, but very, very intense fantasies. And then I'll come into work the next day or I'll go to the gym. And when I see the girl in the gym or at work, they're going to be like avoiding me, avoiding eye contact, like unnecessarily avoiding eye contact. Um, like extreme they'll be like very shy very nervous they won't be like their normal um, bubbly self so like I'll see them other times before um, when I hadn't thought about them fantasizing them suddenly like for a few days I'll be fantasizing about them and then I'll just see them when I come in the gym or work and they just be with their head down not wanting to look not wanting to let me know that that they like me and I, that just made me realize that this this feeling that I have um, it's a sudden thing. It just happens suddenly. It's like a dream. It just happens suddenly. Um, you just start thinking about this girl, and suddenly you're just wondering why in why in the world did I start fantasizing about this woman or this this lady? And yeah, I just think it has to be, it has to be them. Um, it has those of you who fantasize intensely about this particular person. It's especially common with crushes. You just notice them. They're gonna act in a certain way when you see them in person. And so this leads me to my second point. The key thing about fantasy, fantasizing is, ironically, the more you fantasize about the girl or this person that you're really attracted to, the less likely you are to get, um, to get with them in person or to engage in conversation with them because you've put too much intensity, too much pressure in this um, fantasy and they've been fantasizing as well, engaging in it. So it's embarrassing for the both of you, really. So I would advise you, this is what I've been doing as of this year. Um, I've been telling myself, every time I feel a fantasy coming on, I, I just be telling myself, you know what, put it down. Let's just keep it, let's chill it. Just to chill it out because I know that it's them also fantasizing about me. And when I do that, I feel like the pressure's off completely. And actually, it happened when I came to the gym today. Um, there's been a few girls who in the past few months ago I've been fantasizing about because I deliberately said no let's just chill it I noticed them actually coming up to me and smiling at me and trying to engage in conversation not conversation but they, they were being more forward with me they weren't necessarily avoiding me like they, be, they did before so I really think it's important for you guys if you if you're in school whatever especially if you're in school young girls have a lot of emotions just do yourself a favor and just don't if you see yourself about to fantasize just cut it, just cut it, just just chill, put some ice on it because you're actually giving space, you're giving them, you're giving this person space to have a healthy kind of relationship with you, not an obsession because if they're obsessed with you, they're going to be um, very nervous in your presence. So you have to let, you have to let them think about you in a very healthy way without pressure, this fantasy pressure and you're going to have a much easier time with them in person, they're going to be more friendly with you. They're not going to be um, avoiding you because they're embarrassed about their fantasies about you. So that's controversial because people don't believe in ESP. But my experiences and my streaks just tell me that it has to be true. It has to be. If, you, if, a, if a woman at work randomly start fantasizing about her, the next day I come into work, she's, she's like being nervous, being shy and shit. So I just know it has to be true. So yeah, don't fantasy. I mean, if you do fantasize... It's, it's, it's hard, it's very hard because they're fantasizing about you, but just put some ice on it. Just know that they're fantasizing about you and just put it down. Just say, like, hey, hey, chill, chill. Just put it down, put some ice on it. Anyway, hope that's useful for you guys. Peace.